Yeah, uh, here at the. Wait, today's <clears throat> Father's Day. Today's Father's Day. We're gonna ah. pretend. What do you do? You have something to say? Mm-hmm. Happy Father's Day. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Happy Father's Day. I'm Kirby Allison, and today with me I have... I'm Nathaniel. Nathaniel. And as part of our annual Father's Day tradition here at Kirby Allison Hangar Project, Nathaniel and I sit down and shine a pair of shoes. Tradition only exists in the passing down from generation to generation. And here on Father's Day, we like to slow down and just take a moment to really celebrate that. And that's what this Shoe Shine Sunday is about this year. So Nathaniel, uh, why don't you describe to us what you have here? You've got a pair of your black shoes. Right? And some brushes and water. Water. And what do we have? We've got some polish, some shoe polish. Some shoe polish. Okay, and talk about what you're wearing. You've got something new on for um, this I'm, Father's Day. I'm wearing my shoe and a tie. It's a beautiful tie, right? This is our, our Kirby Allison basket weed sovereign grain tie. This is my favorite tie. We had this made for you. So uh, you've got a pair of black shoes. These are the shoes you're going to be wearing to school next year, so we're going to get them all shiny. I have a, a new pair of my bespoke a Baron de Reedy black pigskin loafers. I actually haven't polished these yet, so I'm going to be shining these for the first time also. What do you think of these shoes? Uh, they're little holes. They've got little holes, right? Mm-hmm. That's right. That's the pigskin. So, um, Wait, it comes from a pig. That's right, pigskin. Mm-hmm. Pigskin, so strong. Don't hurt them. Okay, so this year Nathaniel's going to be shining his own shoes. I think in prior years, uh, you know, I was letting him shine a pair of mine. So here's your dauber, okay? I put some black polish right here in the top of this tin. So why don't we apply that to your shoes? I'm going to do the same. I'm going to be using... Uh, Let's put this right here. You know, why don't we get that out of the way so that they can see? Okay, do you want to polish? I'm going to be using some of our mirror gloss. Since these are new, I'm going to shine them up a little bit. Okay, a little bit on the dauber. Okay, that's good. Now rub it all in the shoe. Now get a little bit on the other shoe just to spread it out. Okay. Now really, you know, brush it in there, Nathaniel. All the way around kind of the shoe. You've got a little brush. So the whole entire idea behind Shoe Shine Sunday, you know, really is just honoring uh, the ritual of slowing down to shine one's shoes. And uh, a lot of our customers really talk about how they remember their fathers, you know, sitting down on Sunday to shine their shoes, or maybe their father would, uh, you know, pay their children, you know, a nickel or a quarter or something to shine a pair of shoes. And so, um, you know, that's really kind of what we're doing here. Okay, let's get this in there. Can you do it with the dauber just so that it gets a little bit more? It's going to take a while with the paintbrush. You know, as fathers, one of our most important responsibilities is that as a role model to our children. And so how we behave, uh, even whenever we don't think our children are uh, watching, uh, how we dress, you know, uh, how it is that we treat others, um, again, are powerful signals that we send to our children in terms of how we expect them to behave. And so in dressing well, um, you know, really is just an outward sign of respect. You know, whenever we go out into the world, if we go to church or if we're going over to a friend's house for dinner, dressing well is a sign of respect to those that we're meeting. And so, you know, for us, it's a very important value within our family uh, that Nathaniel knows that whenever we're going out to dinner, how do I expect you to dress? Um, well. Well, that's right. So uh, it's, again, you know, it may seem insignificant. It may seem minor. Of course, there's a lot of times that, uh, you know, we get into arguments about, uh, you know, maybe him not wanting to, you know, wear a button-up shirt. But it's these small things at the, you know, whenever you look back in retrospect uh, that really sometimes have importance beyond what you were realizing at the moment. One of the things that I love about the YouTube channel as we, you know, explore the world discovering quality craftsmanship and tradition are the stories that a lot of the viewers share back with us uh, just through the comments section of our YouTube channel about kind of their experience with their fathers or how, um, you know, and so, you know, that's really what we want to showcase here on our Kirby Allison YouTube channel is quality craftsmanship and tradition. And, you know, 
the beauty of shoe shining, of course, is that you can make your shoes look beautiful. Uh, but you know, it's also an opportunity, especially if you have older children, you know, to sit down and just share an experience uh, with your children. You know, not only doing something, you know, fun and spending time with one another, uh, but also just teaching them the importance of dressing well uh, and respect. And so, you know, it's one of the things I like about shining shoes is oftentimes I'll do it at home on the weekend. You know, Nathaniel will sit there and watch with me or, you know, try to help along. And, uh, you know, even though sometimes it's a little bit more work, you know, it's important in terms of the roles of fathers. We're not going to use that. This is just for me. This is, it's important. It's an important role of fathers to role model these things for their children. Okay, just not, just a little bit, not a lot. Okay, you got it? You're going to put some wax on? Okay, so now you're putting some wax on. So this is what's going to make it shiny, Nathaniel. This one's more shiny than this one. Okay, so... Okay, that's enough. We, remember, less is more whenever it comes to polish. You don't want to use too much. Yeah, I know. This man, the real one is shiny. Okay, you want me to help you a little bit? Okay, so look, I'm going to apply this. So you always want the toe cap to be the most shiny, right? So you want to apply cream polish to the entire shoe, but it's the toe that if it's shiny, really makes a shoe stand out, right? Don't you see that yeah, with like a lot yours, of daddy's shoes? Like, like yours, the toe is like very Yeah, the shiny. toe is shiny. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a wax polish here on the toe. Do you want me to see if I can make these shiny on the toe? Yeah, Where I want to make them as shiny as yours. Okay, yours so let's try. Yours get so shiny on the toe. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm using a little bit of our Saphir mirror gloss. This is one of the polishes that daddy created. So let's put this. So we're going to put a thick layer on the toe. Daddy, you know yours are way shiny. Yeah, luckily Your these... shoes that you have right now are... Yeah, sit, sit in the chair so that I can speak to you. The That's shoes I'm wearing are... I'm wearing my uh, trial Gaziano and Girling bespoke shoes. Sam Norsworthy, who was one of the contestants uh, in this year's 2019 World Championship of Patina, uh, made these shoes because, uh, you know, he was an apprentice at Gaziano and Girling. Hmm? My shoes. No, no. He made my shoes. And... Uh, Anyway, Sam Norsworthy is you know, 20 year old, 19, 20 year old uh, kid, but an absolutely incredible uh, man, a real testament to his father. And you can really see whenever you see them together, again, just how, you know, really the apple never falls far from the tree. And, uh, you know, his father is, um, you know, an exceptional man. And, you know, you can really see that in his son. So, okay, Nathaniel, we've got some of the mirror glass on there. So next, the next step with the mirror glass is you gotta allow it to dry. And now we're gonna try to make it shine. <laughs> okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. So there you go. I'm going to show you some magic. Okay, a little bit of water, a little bit of polish. Okay, can you blow on this one for me? Okay. Now, ooh, look at that. Okay, blow on that one. I'm going to be shiny like yeah, yours. Like mine. Yes. It's starting to come out. It's starting to get shinier, isn't it? I can't see myself. Well, you, I need a water. Well, we're going to try to make it so that you can see yourself, but these shoes are from Zara, so we don't know how shiny we'll be able to get them. Can you sit in your chair for me? Well, I want ones like yours. Well, one day, well, hopefully, you'll have the same shoe shiny. size as me, and you'll be able to wear them. Okay, these are really coming up. Blow on those for me. So, Nathaniel, as you blow on the polish, we just need it to dry. Oh, you're whistling. Mm -hmm. Okay. How does this look? Is that shiny enough? Uh, kind of. Kind of? I need a little shiny. More shiny? You know, you're not doing the toe. I only need the toe shiny. I don't need anything else shiny. Okay. Okay, blow on these. Okay, that's really coming up. How do you think that's pretty shiny? I need like a little more shiny. Like maybe yes, one more time. One more right? time? Oh man, he's working me hard here, isn't he? Okay, we're really getting technical here with this mirror shine. But I have to say, a little bit of polish can even make these, you know, thirty-dollar Zara uh, lace-up darbies uh, look really good. And if I can do this with children's shoes, imagine what you can do uh, with a nice pair of adult shoes. I wanted that shiny. Yeah, this That's looks perfect. good, doesn't it? That's perfect. Okay. Blowing those for me. 
That's perfect. That's perfect. Then. Okay, blow on it. Can you see yourself? You almost can, can't you? I maybe just one more time and we'll be able to see myself. One more time, I think. Yeah. Maybe we're gonna stop there. Like only one more time. Only one more time. I promise. Just one. How many of you have heard this before? Just one more time. One <laughs> more time. And it come, never comes out one more time. How does it normally happen? Um, forever. Forever. There we go. The secret, the, the truth, the honesty of children. So this is our high shine um, chamois. And actually, this is uh, something that we have made from cotton shirting. Um, Joe Himmer, Johnny, and my tailor actually makes these for me. And this is uh, really the secret weapon for creating the mirror shine. And the most important thing is that as you wrap this on your fingers, it needs to be smooth, no wrinkling across the fingers. Daddy, you know something? Yeah. We, it's okay on this side, but we usually do get like a little crack. I think it's pretty good right there. Yeah. This, this is a crack in the leather because it's not very hard, so we're not gonna be able to fix that. That okay. But you can, look, we can see each other. Yeah, this one's good. We okay, need to I just, work I'm on this one. almost done. Daddy. I just, uh, so you want a smooth surface. And then at the end, you know, as you, after you built that wax finish, really what you're doing Daddy, is buffing those waxes. Dada. So at the end, in order to produce that mirror shine, Daddy. we're not really adding any more wax. Look at that, that's perfect. Daddy, we yes. need to work on that one. Okay, that I'm almost like, done. I just need to. That the, was like not like. I just need the final buff on this one. Yeah, that one has no buff. How do you wrap it on your finger, Daddy? Oh, the polishing cloth? Yeah. Okay. So look, you take the polishing cloth, you get two fingers. Can you try it? Okay. And then you take it over like this, and then you twist it and take it around. So let's try. So two fingers. And then okay, twist it. Then I can do it. Twist okay, it. and then take it around like that. Okay, and then use your thumb to hold that. See, there you are. You don't even need me to do this anymore. You want to start shining my shoes? Mm, I'll yeah. pay you a dollar a shoe. Yeah. What would you use all that money for? Um, to buy um, Hot Wheels. Some Hot Wheels? No Legos? Some Hot Wheels and Legos, because I got my Hot Wheels and it, that it swing closed and it swings open and it's a car that can fly. It's swing closed and open. Okay, sit in your chair, please. That one's good. Okay, blow that for me. We're almost done. I think this is our last coat. Yeah. Why are fathers important? Do, do you like do you like having fun with your papa? Yeah. Yeah. And, and be sure to the let your kid watch this video. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Don't it's, you have another video on here from last year that could teach some children something? Do you remember that? Um, and just go to the um, shoeshining.com. And we could have um, a video where it can teach your kids how to tie your shoelaces with me. Yep, last and year. That's last right. year. So look, look at all our videos and I'm sure you find it. Mm -hmm. mm. So one of the tricks, we have this on some of our mirror shine videos, is you can use a hair dryer with cold air to kind of help accelerate the drying process. It's one of the benefits of the mirror glass is that it dries faster. But I think I'm there. I think I'm almost here, Nathaniel. I just need a tad bit of more water. What do you think? Is this coming together? Yeah. Okay. Sometimes you just have to stop. So there we are. Your shoes, Nathaniel, with a nice high shine on the toes. What do you think of those? Uh, good. I didn't even think I could do that, but here we are. Look, we can see ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, and this is a real mirror shine. It's not a plastic leather. So today, Nathaniel is wearing a uh, dark gray suit from MyTailor.com. Joe made this for us. And this is my favorite basket weave, uh, so Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade Tie. And I actually tied this for him using the old birdie knot. Look how good that looks. Pretty proud of myself. Difficult to tie ties backwards. And uh, anyway, I think you look great, Nathaniel, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yep, why don't you stand up and show him. He's got some shorts on, and now he's got a great pair of uh, shiny shoes to go with this outfit. So from both Nathaniel and I, we'd like to wish all of the fathers out there a happy, happy Father's, Father's Day. Day.